Hi, David here of Lancaster Automar A to B and here we've got a 2010 60 plate Ford Fiesta. So 1.4 petrol, three door, and what we'll be doing in this video is just showing you around some of the features it has and the general condition it's in. So it only came in today, this one, so it's still dual ballot. But we'll just start with the exterior features. So you do get tinted windows around the back. Is on alloys, not hubcaps. And as you can see, they're quite a nice design there. And that particular alloy is in really good condition. Down the side of the vehicle, bodywork's generally quite tidy. And then onto the front alloy, there is a little bit of curb into that one, just around the edge. And as we move around the front, again, condition's very good. There's no cloud under the headlights whatsoever. Only issue potentially around the front, just a slightly rusty screw, but that's not an issue whatsoever. Then onto the passenger side front alloy, so there's again a little bit of curbing on that, but both the rear ones are absolutely fine. And one tiny scuff on there. Again, this is a 12 year old car though, so the wear and tear is very minimal. Then onto the rear alloy, again, nothing up with that one. And then onto the very back, we do get parking sensors on the rear, so there's four of those, two on the moulding, two on the painted section. I'll just make sure it's open. Bear with me, I'll just grab the key out of my pocket. There we go. So you do get a button on the key there. It will just pop the boot open. There you go, inside you get a fair bit of space. Again, needs a little hoover out, but the wear and tear is absolutely non-existent in it. I'll just lift it up underneath, because you do have an inflation kit, so there's the fluid. And there's the actual inflator itself, and you also get a little funnel in here as well. Locking wheel nut is in the glove box. I've already checked out for that because I did think it was missing when I checked the boot. So moving on into the vehicle itself. So you do have electric windows all around. Bear in mind all around is just the front because it's three door. You've also got electrically adjustable wing mirrors. They do also fold, I believe, if you press that one up. And then inside the vehicle then, so you've got automatic lights over on this side. And then you've also got a voice recognition button there and a little trip computer button on the end. So we'll just start the engine for now. There we go, into life, no warning lights on whatsoever. And you can also see the mileage is quite low. So it's on 54,182, which for the age of vehicle is very low indeed. So moving on, so onto the wheel. You do get cruise control in this one. So quite straightforward, there's an on and off set button cancel resume so it works pretty much exactly as you'd expect there over on this side of the wheel we've got your audio controls so your mode skip track volume towards the center then got all your radio controls so there's multiple ways to connect devices up in this vehicle such as usb or auxiliary input it does also have bluetooth for your phone i believe but we'll double check so helps if i don't mess with the uh, volume instead so audio so there is quite a bit to flick through here. Well, the, what we'll do is we'll uh, try the mode. It's always a good way of doing it. So, ah, there we go. There we are, so you do get Bluetooth. It's not Bluetooth audio, but it is Bluetooth phone. And then you've also got line inactive, so that's your auxiliary input or your USB. So it is quite a nice, simple system. It works very well. And then moving down from there, you do get climate control as well. You can see it's currently set to 20 degrees, it's on automatic there, so you can adjust it manually if you want. You just take over, or you can have it just on auto, and it'll do its own thing. Coming down from there, you've got five-speed manual gearbox, and then just a bit further down from here, you've got the USB, you've got a 3.5mm jack and your 12 volt power outlet, two cup holders at the front, one for your rear seat passengers, and then, as I said, in the glove box, just move all that lot out of the way. Do have locking wheel nut as well. So if there is anything I've missed in this video or any extra info you want, don't hesitate to get in contact and we'll see what we can do to help out. Otherwise, thanks for watching and take care. Bye.